Today it's gonna be me versus Ardu Pilot on the VTOL. I got a Fimi Manta kindly provided by the Banggood and well, today it's gonna be my first practical experience with both Ardu Pilot and the VTOL. And I think it's gonna work because I had it tested at home in the hover mode and it seems to be working just fine. But the transition and the flight as the airplane, no idea yet. So let's see how it works. By the way, no FPV today, it's gonna be only line of sight. Okay, we have a hover, it's hovering, not bad, not too shabby. For sure it's usable in the multicopter mode. Okay. Ah, uh, not that close. Then let's switch to the airplane mode and let's see what's gonna happen. Not what I expected. <laughs> uh, apparently it needs much more height to be able to transition. It, however, it was able to start to transition, but just lost a little of the altitude and as the result, well, it failed. So one more time, we're gonna begin in the multi-rotor mode and then I will get slightly more altitude and then hit the transition. Let's go. I don't remember when the last time I was so much stressed when flying something. But okay, it's flying. Let's check transition to multicopter. Okay. That was... Ah! Okay. Ah. That was more than I really expected. <laughs> but... I got it flying. I think it would be much better if I really had the FPV setup of this thing, because with the line of sight, uh, in, especially with such a small model, it's really hard to see what's going on. So this is why I had so much trouble, especially when now the transition from the airplane to the multicopter mode. But I think the model actually survived, not counting the... I lost the GPS cover, so that's kind of bummer. Uh, let me find the cover, maybe it's somewhere, and then let's gonna try one more time. Exactly the same procedure as before. I'm gonna take off in the multi-rotor mode, and then transition to the airplane, and then I will try to land. So, let's arm. Okay, we are flying. We are flying, it's actually quite nice. Sure, the very nice weather today is helping a lot. But turning with this thing, at least at the moment in this flight mode, it's kinda complicated. So, okay. And now transition to the multicopter mode. That went nicely. Then let's come to the landing site. Let's land. And well, let's disarm. Okay, let's try a different flight mode because maybe now it will be better. No. Ah, what's going on? No. Okay, let's try one more time because I think I finally know what's really going on. I hope so. Ah. 
Okay, not too fast. This thing doesn't like to be flying very fast, but it's flying nevertheless. Okie dokie. One more time. Let's me let me do one more loop. And then we gonna do the landing. Okay, landing in the airplane mode actually is quite nice, no problems over there. Too bad, I'm not sure if I will be able to take off in the uh, airplane mode. I'm not sure I got all the single of the Ardu pilot modes correctly. And let me of course check the center of the gravity. I think it's still fine. So maybe let's give it one more throw. Ready? Let's go! No? Hmm. Ready? No. Ready? No. What the hell? Okay, so it likes to just take off vertically. Okay, that's fine by me. Yeah, baby! We are flying! Whee! <laughs> it's cool! <laughs> it's cool, I like it. Let's park it as a multi-rotor one more time. Whee! That's nice. Let's bring it to landing. And... Let's land! You know what? That was actually quite interesting of the experience. This was my first real adventure with Ardu Pilot and first real adventure with the VTOL. And I think I somehow managed. First of all, I had no idea what to expect and the first transition from the vertical to horizontal phase was at least scary and I had no idea that I should have enough of the altitude and enough of the speed to make that happen. Exactly the same situation happened in the next fly where for the first time I tried to transition from the horizontal phase to the vertical phase. I think I just overdid it and as the result the model crashed. But it survived without any damage, so it's a good sign. Verdict? It's definitely a lot of fun. First of all, the model itself is relatively simple to assemble, there are no like magical things that you have to do. Banggood sent me the version plug and play when you only basically have to assemble the wings, that means you have to put the motors and their servo mechanism into the wing put everything together and you are ready to go. It really takes maximum one hour even when you are trying to understand what's going on. Then the model itself is super compact, quite nice build and apparently not only it can fly because you just seen what was happening and I managed also, I never had any experience with the VTOL, almost like it was fly-by-wire. And as a bonus, Manta has mounting options for a lot of FPV systems. So for the next tries, I will definitely install the FPV setup on this model. Because only then the VTOL will be really a nice experience to fly. If I would have to be nitpicky, I would say that the instruction manual that the Fimi Manta got in the package is well how to say it, very short and does not really cover anything related to the flight itself. If you want to know how to change modes and exactly what each of the modes of the Ardu Pilot is doing, the manual will not say you even a single word on that. It only says that on channel 6 you have those three flight modes. What they do? you have to figure it out yourself. And also as a very strange choice, it's not coming with enabled arming on the switch. You have to do the stick arming, stick arming sucks, and you have to, well, take a long course on how to make Ardu Pilot to arm with a switch. Yes, if you know how to do it, it's super simple, but if you do not know how to do it, you will suffer. And finally, next steps, definitely FPV, and you know what? I'm gonna install iNav on it, because 
it's gonna be so cool to have a real VTOL, so I will be able to record a VTOL setup tutorial especially for you. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying! Happy VTOL flying, to be precise.